custody. We saw the Bulls lose. They had a 10-point lead against the ATL last night, and they lose not only the lead, they lose the game. 119-112 Wednesday night. After the game, Jimmy Butler, Dwayne Wade, well, they went off and they ripped their own teammates. We wonder what's the more divisive act. Here is their sound from the loss. If you don't come in this pissed off after you lose every, like any game, after if you're if you're not pissed off that you lost, man, something's wrong. This is your job. This is what you're supposed to love to do. And I don't I don't think that everybody looks at it that way. Man, I just I want to play with guys that care, man, that play hard, that want to do well for this organization, that that want to to win games, man. Do whatever it takes, just win. Who cares who's shining? When when we're winning, man, everybody looks great. Everybody's doing what they're supposed to do, man. I don't I don't, I don't think that that's happening right now. I really, I really don't. I don't know how you fix it. Uh, it just doesn't mean enough for guys around here to want to win ball games. And uh, it pisses me off. But I can't be frustrated and I can't care too much for these guys. Uh, they got to care for themselves. So. And then Rajon Rondo responded, responded rather, Dylan, on IG by saying my vets would never go to the media. Yeah. They would come to the team. My vets didn't pick and choose when they wanted to bring it. See the picture of KG. They showed us the seriousness of the game. My vets didn't have an influence on the coaching staff. My vets, my vets. Right? They couldn't change the plan because it didn't work for them. I may be a lot of things, but I'm not a bad teammate. My goal is to pass what I learned along. The young guys work. They show up. They don't deserve blame. If anything is questionable, it's the leadership. Whoa. So my guys, my vets, clearly are not Dwayne Wade and Jimmy Butler. He is not referring to those guys. He's referring to when he won a championship back in Boston with KG and Paul Pierce. Yeah. Uh, which act is more divisive? What you heard from Jimmy Butler, Dwayne Wade, or the response by Rondo? It's hard for me to split the whole thing of what's going it's on mess. in Chicago. The whole thing is... Just, just terribly disconcerting. Because for me, at this point, Rondo's got to go. And, 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 you know, and, and he may not think he's a bad teammate, but it's fairly hypocritical to, to call out people <laughs> for going to the media and then going to just a different form, form of the media, social media, to take to Instagram to conjure up the good old days when he was with the Seas and KG and his vets and everybody... We're doing it the right way. Whatever's going on, it's the wrong way right now with the Bulls. It's in their play. It's in giving up a 10-point lead with three minutes to go mm. against the Hawks team that they should have beat last night. Yeah. One way or another, the three of those guys have to figure it out, along with Coach Fred Hoiberg, what the hell this team is all about, who is going to lead this team, and it needs to come from the mouths of the leaders of this team to the ears of the rest of the players on this team. And it has to be in-house. At this point, going to the media is not going to get you anywhere. All it does is just add fuel to the fire that is this dumpster fire of the Chicago Bulls right now. And yeah, I blame Rondo. Yes, I blame Jimmy Butler and Dwayne Wade. It's hard for me to say which wrong is better or which wrong is less divisive. They're both divisive. If there was yeah. actual leadership on this team, I think those doors would be shut. The cameras would get the boot. And they'd settle this and figure out a way to maximize the talent and the leadership and the experience they have. Because there's a lot of talent and a lot of experience. If you're a young guy and the guys you're supposed to be looking up to on that team are Rondo, Wade, and Butler. Yeah. And here we Championships are. Championships on two, uh, on two accounts. Butler, a guy, one of the best two-way players in the league. And if I'm a young player scratching. and I'm going, whoa, these, these are our leaders? Uh, they're bickering back and forth either in the media or in social media as you regard it. I mean, what are they supposed to think? I, he, and, and it's not their job. To, it's their job to bring their lunch pail, go, go play on. every day. There's clearly a division in that locker room, Team Rondo and, and Team Butler and Wade. Sometimes Butler seems to be off on his own island. Mm. And, and really, I call into question the leadership of Fred Hoiberg because that's where coach comes into play, especially when you have all these volatile egos all kind of simmering at once. Yeah. That's when a coach should be able to go, okay, shut that door. I got this. Listen, now I tell you what's going on. I don't think Fred Hoiberg has earned that type of leverage uh, and respect with this team, and he's not flexing any sort of leadership muscle right now. I'm a school teacher. That's what Tom Hanks said in, uh, thank you, Saving Private Ryan, when, when there was like, it was like a mutiny about to happen, and nobody knew what he did in the real world. And just, he just quashed everything, just squashed it all and quelled it all by saying, 
I'm a school teacher. And he was a great leader in that movie. I, I thought his leadership qualities in Joe versus the Volcano were a little better, but again, splitting.